Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit. Today, I'm gonna to show you my three favorite ways of making barbecue beef in the crock pot. Of course it's not real barbecue if you make it in the crock pot, but I can call it what I want to because it's my food and my channel. And I also self-identify as a crock pot barbecue pit master. Duh, I'm confused. What is a crock pot barbecue pit master? Scooter, we're just playing make-believe. Just sit back and enjoy the show. The first crock pot barbecue beef we're making is just a simple basic recipe. Starting off with a 12 ounce can of high quality natural light. You can use whatever high quality beer you like. If you don't want to use beer, you can just use plain water or you can use chicken broth or a can of Pepsi or Coke. Once you've added the liquid of your choice, add a 15 ounce can of chopped tomatoes with green chilies. Followed by apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, chopped garlic, chopped yellow onion, salt and pepper, granulated garlic, granulated onion, crushed red pepper, and chili powder. And then give it all a good mix. I'll leave a printable copy of the recipe in the description box below. And then for the star of the show, a three and a half pound boneless chuck roast. Make sure the chuck roast is fully submerged. And then put the lid on the crock pot and then turn the power on high for six hours. If you want to put this in the crock pot in the morning and go to work, Cook it on low for eight to 10 hours. And here's what our truck roast looks like after cooking for six hours on high. And as you can tell by the good forking I gave it, it's like butter. Now what I'm about to say is probably gonna hurt your feelings, but remove the meat from the crock pot and pour out all the juices. I know, I know, the juices are where all the flavor's at. But some people don't like all the vegetables in their barbecue beef. But after cooking for six hours on high, all the vegetables in the liquid have served their purpose and flavored the meat. But like I said, this is just going to be a basic barbecue beef recipe using bottled barbecue sauce. I used about a half a cup of my favorite barbecue sauce and about a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. You can use more or less to suit your taste. Once you've added your barbecue sauce, mix it all together, cover, and let it cook on low for another hour. After cooking for a total of seven hours, our barbecue beef is ready. So we piled it high on a sesame seed bun and went in and took a big old bite. And the meat, as tender as can be, it's beefy, it's sweet, it's tangy, and a little bit spicy. It's absolutely delicious. 35 years ago, I didn't have a grill or a smoker. Now I have too many. But this was the only way I knew how to make barbecue beef at the time. And to this day, it's still one of my favorites. Now for the next crock pot barbecue beef recipe with homemade barbecue sauce. This time we're using a seven bone, four pound chuck roast. As you can tell, the chuck roast is still frozen solid. But it doesn't matter! Now add two 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce, followed by a half a cup of apple cider vinegar, and a half a cup of wolf rub. If you don't have wolf rub, that's fine. Use a half a cup of your favorite rub. And then cover the crock pot and set it on low for eight hours. And after eight hours, here's what our four pound seven bone chuck roast looks like. And just like the first one, it's like butter. Now remove the chuck roast from the crock pot and be careful because it's gonna fall apart. Put the chuck roast onto a pan and remove any excess fat and the bone. And then let the meat cool down before you pull it.
and then reserve about three cups of the liquid from the crock pot and put it into a small pan. Add a quarter cup of brown sugar and then give it a good mix and let it simmer until it reduces by half and thickens up nicely. Now that the meat is cooled, pull it apart and remove all the fat and bone. Now at this point, you can put the pulled beef back into the crock pot with the barbecue sauce and let it simmer for another hour or so. But I'm gonna serve the pulled beef plain on the buns with the barbecue sauce. This way, if you have leftover beef and you wanna use it for something like tacos or burritos or nachos, it doesn't have barbecue sauce all over it. And you can use it for whatever you like. So put a big old mountain of the pulled beef on top of a Kaiser roll and then add as much or as little of the barbecue sauce as you like Add the top bun, and there you have it, a pulled beef barbecue sandwich. Super tender, super juicy, spicy, sweet, and tangy. What more could you ask for? And with the homemade barbecue sauce, you don't get the artificial smoke flavor you do in a bottle barbecue sauce. Now this next beef recipe is a signature wolf pit recipe. I created this recipe just wandering through the grocery store one day and picked up a handful of ingredients and I called it pepper stout beef. And yes, I created this recipe. If anyone tells you any different, they're lying and I can prove it. I'll leave a link to the original recipe that I posted on September 28th, 2009 on the virtual Weber bulletin board. And the funny thing about this sandwich is when you cook it in a crock pot, it's more like an Italian beef sandwich than it is a barbecue sandwich but the original recipe was made to be cooked on the grill. But in my opinion, both ways are equally as good. We're starting off with a three and a half pound boneless chuck roast that we're gonna season very generously with kosher salt and black pepper on each side. And then we're gonna sear it on each side in a preheated cast iron skillet over medium high heat for about five minutes per side, just to get a little bit of color. Once the chuck roast is nicely browned on each side, add it to the crock pot. Followed by some roughly chopped bell peppers, you can use whatever colors you like. Some chopped garlic. Some chopped red onion. And preferably fresh, jalapeno peppers. But all I had today was pickled jalapeno peppers which they work just fine. Followed by some Worcestershire sauce and a bottle of Guinness Extra Stout. I put the lid on the crock pot, turn it on low, and let it cook for eight hours. And after eight hours, Here's what our crock pot pepper stout beef looks like. And can you say butter? Now you can serve this over rice, pasta, or mashed potatoes, but it was intended to be made for sandwiches, which is what we're gonna do today. And like I said in the beginning, it almost resembles Italian beef. Now you can make your sandwiches on whatever kind of bread you like. But Swiss cheese, pepper jack cheese, cheddar cheese, or whatever kind of cheese you like will work. But today, I'm making my pepper stout beef sandwich on a ciabatta roll 
with Roquefort blue cheese and mayonnaise. Of course, serve it with a side of the au jus for dipping. This sandwich is very rich, a little bit spicy, beefy, and absolutely delicious. I'll leave a link in the description below to show you how this is done on the grill the way it was intended to be made. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.